right, folks. Well, we're still on our way to Butler, Indiana, but we're in Ohio. But I wanted to show you, here's the sign entering Indiana. Crossroads of America. Did you know that? Indiana. Crossroads of America. It's been a nice slack drive across about half of Ohio. Indiana will be that way also. I still got about 45 minutes, says the GPS. Oh, there's a sign that says sweet corn. Oh, I need some of that. I can't get this big truck back there to where they were selling the sweet corn. Hmm. Well, you know, my work order has still not hit my tablet, by the way. So obviously I've got a tablet communication problem. Not getting anything, nothing I'm entering is, is sending, although it appears to be sending on my end. There's a bunch of geese crossing the road up there in the air. But anyway, um, so you know, I have to get my work order, my instructions and stuff from the phone app. And I know from delivering to this customer before in Granite City that I'll probably be getting one big coil. So when I first pull into the lot, I'm gonna go ahead and get my trailer set up for one big shotgun coil. And for you guys that may be new to this, if you hear me talk about shotgun coil that means the eye of the coil is facing the, the truck you know it's parallel with the trailer and if you hear hear the word suicide coil that means the eye of the coil is perpendicular to the trailer So, in this case, since I know this is going to be a big coil, I'm going to set up the loaded shotgun, and then I'll call in and check in. But we'll see you when we get there. All right, folks, I'm just a mile and a half or so from a shipper. Steel Dynamics here in Butler, Indiana. I'll be coming in from a different direction than what I've done the past at least two times that I've come here. Usually when I come here, it's from the northeast. But today, you know, I came from the southeast. different territory it's out here in the middle of nowhere as you can see but there's several steel shippers out here steel dynamics is the one we pick up from most often but there, there's a couple of other ones also Here's a little green sign here. It says steel mill to the right. Steel mill, not steel meal. <laughs> All right. So this is County Road 59. And I've already called my fleet manager about five miles back and asked him to do an arrival for me in the system because 
This job still has not landed on my new tablet, so it doesn't know what I'm doing. And the entry point for the steel dynamics plant is going to be uh, just up here to the left. about just a few minutes before noon. Hope we don't catch them on a lunch break. So, here's a, a, a sign right here. It says SDI truck entrance. SDI is for Steel Dynamics Incorporated. And then there's another sign here, All Trucks Monitor Channel 10. So this, they've got a nice big lot here. Once we get loaded, we'll come back out here and finish securing. Okay, and uh, tarp, this will be a tarp load. They always are. So I'm just gonna pull up right here get my trailer set up for one big shotgun coil and get checked in I'll get back to you all right folks I've got my trailer set up gotten checked in she said once I got my uh, trailer set up I could come on up so that's what I'm doing Now, I've been here a couple of times over the past uh, two or three months, so uh, you may have recognized this already. They have a very efficient operation here. It's one of my favorite places to get loaded. So we're going to go on to this uh, scale here on the left side. And they'd like you to go ahead and put a couple of chains and binders out on your trailer so you can get minimally secured right after you get loaded. And we're going to pull up onto the scale and then there'll be a little window here where I'll just communicate with the lady and she'll go ahead and give me my shipping documents. So, uh, let me do that, and I'll get back to you. Okay. Got checked in. She verified that the coil could be loaded either way, suicide or shotgun, which I was pretty certain of that, knowing uh, the customer I'm delivering to. They unload with an overhead crane, so it doesn't matter to them how, how it's loaded. All right, now she said that the light was working, which um, there's a traffic light down here that's kind of new, and I can see what she's talking about. It is working. In the past, I don't think it has been, so I guess they control it from inside the building. But right here in this lane is where trucks line up to get into this building here to the right. Which is what they call door 106. It's not the only place you'll get loaded, but it's the primary place. So, I guess I need to wait here for the light. I'll get back to you. All right, well, turns out the light wasn't working, evidently. So the lady uh, said it's okay to pull around as long as there's nobody else over here in the uh, driveway of door 106. So. 
I'm going to pull on around. We're going to 106, not 106A. And it looks like there's room for one or two trucks, so I'm going to go on in. Shut off. It says shut off engine and headlights once you get in there. So. Alright, here we go. It's usually a quick load in here, which is good. I'll try to get you a shot of the load if I can, but sometimes I can't. I wanted to get you a shot of the unload today with that lumber load, and uh, but they wouldn't let us out of our truck. I guess I'm going to pull all the way up here to the stop sign, maybe further. Looks like that's probably my coil he's got hanging up there in the air on the crane. He's motioning me forward. He's just going to load it right here. Is that mine right there? Yep. All right. See, they're ready. I probably won't. Uh, get any shot of the loading he just told me to stop so all right I'll get back to you all right got it loaded got two chains cross through the eye and ready to pull back out to the securement lot and you can see here there's a sign that says two chains pull forward That's why I like this place. They're very uh, efficient. They don't waste any time. So I'll go ahead and give you a look. And you got to stop for the stop sign. Give a honk. In case there's somebody walking around out here you can't see. So, this coil goes to Precoat Metals in Granite City, Illinois. I was just there a couple of weeks ago and uh, I did not deliver there, but I picked up there. But I have delivered there many times. So probably, seeing as I'm going to deliver there, I'll probably also get a load there. You know, we, we deliver a lot of stuff over to Northwest Arkansas from there, for one thing. stop signs through here just uh, making sure you're hitting all the stop signs it says trucks waiting for scale must stop here well I'm not really waiting for the scale but I will stop here 
because it just makes sense. So you don't have to scale out. You just bypass the, the exit scale and go back out to the securement line. Because uh, when I checked in and scaled in, you know, they've already given me my, my shipping document. So I've got everything I need. All I have to do is finish securing and uh, tarp it, and I'll be out of here. And I'll double check the weight, but it, if I remember right, it, this coil weighed uh, approximately... 43,000 pounds not really that big a one I'll, I'll have no trouble tarping it with one four foot drop tarp so no trouble there that looks like a, maybe a Maverick yeah that's a Maverick truck straight ahead there and I know there was a couple more in the lot earlier so I'm going to go down here to this end. It's a nice sunny day, but it's not real hot. So I'm going to get down here close to the exit. Got a big dumpster down here and a couple of porta potties if you need it. All right, so I'm just going to hit this spot right here and then I'll get out and show you the load here in a minute. Okay, guys, it's kind of noisy, but I'm going to show you the securements before I start tarping here. So here's the four chains going through the outer coil, crisscross, padded edge protectors. I got a trip chain in the front just to stop forward motion if necessary. I hooked it up over here. We got two chains over the, I mean two straps over the top. Give you a look from the back. Alright, two straps over the top. Alright. Now, I'm gonna put one canvas tarp over and then one of my vinyl tarps. So, um, let me show you the cradle positioning real quick before I start tarping. So what I did, this is the center, now here's the light, but this is actually the center point of the trail. So I positioned my cradle Kind of right there with that being the center all right and then i used um two beveled timbers i got two skid mats down there and i got one two three four five six six coil racks which will support up to forty-eight thousand pounds this coil weighed 43 something so we're good there and then when the guy dropped the coil down i had him place it right here so i could get my chains positioned, my front chains positioned like this. Number one hookups and far enough out from the coil that they're not rubbing on the coil. All right, and then the back worked out well also. Number one hookups right there. All right, so that's that. There's where I got loaded, right over there. So pretty easy set up. I'll be able to get it with one part for sure. Only thing is I didn't get my coil pads spread out best. I should have had this front one up about a, another foot. But you know, that'll work. And there's what it looks like from the other side. Everything's nice and tight. I actually had to go back and tighten a couple of the chains one more notch. You know, after I got my straps tightened up real good. But that's it. Going to Granite City. Alright, let me get to work tarping. Okay guys, let me give you a quick 
look at the final product. Once I've got it tart, yeah, was able to easily get it with a one four foot vinyl steel tarp as we call them. And then I got one canvas tarp over the coil underneath the black coil or the black tarp. So that's how she looks. All right, I've still got a few hours on my clock. I have to call my fleet manager get him to get him to uh, manually put in my leaving shipper. And then I'll hit the road more later. <laughs>